What's being closed again? All indoor operations at gyms, hair salons, malls and barber shops, churches, non-critical offices, personal care facilities as well. The order affects all 30 counties on the state's monitoring list, which includes all of our local counties. The director of the Department of Health for L.A. County, Dr. Ferrer, talked about what needs to be done to stop cases from spiking. I know that today's news is disappointing, so in closing, I just want to note that we flattened the curve before, and I know we can do it again. Stay home as much as you can. If you do need to go out for work or important errands, please remember that you must wear your face covering, uh, and it must cover both your mouth and your nose. We have team coverage on these new closures. Let's go ahead and begin with KCAL 9's Joy Benedict. She's focusing on gyms that got the green light to reopen only a month ago, and now they have to close down again. For fitness at this gym in North Hollywood, as word spread that once again, they'd be closing. And I'm like, no way, not again. The state announced all gyms and watch counties like Los Angeles County must shut down today. A surprise for many showing up to work out at the 24-hour fitness here. I've only been using the senior hours, which is two to three, which is fine. There's usually a half dozen of us and we're all old. 24-hour fitness had been requiring members to sign up for one-hour sessions, then shutting down for 30 minutes to clean before the next session. We wipe things down before and after we use it. So you felt safe coming? Yeah. I don't know if I'd come at another hour. All gyms were shut down in March as the threat of COVID-19 loomed. They reopened in L.A. County in mid-June. A couple weeks later, patrons were told they could only work out in a mask and gloves. And now the rules have changed again, forcing them to close. I'm quite surprised. I'm not happy with it, but we have to make it work. The numbers have to come down. But of course, the closure of gems all over the area doesn't just affect those who want to work out. It also affects all the employees who will now be sent back to unemployment. Sad was the very first one. I almost, I almost cried. Um, and I'm still sad. Talia is a fitness instructor at a local gym and teaches about 20 classes a week. After almost three months on unemployment, she was excited to get back to work and is now fearful about what's next. Unemployment is always there for as an option. If things change and the extra six hundred dollars that's added into it is taken away, I don't know how anybody's going to really be able to sustain that. And with no reopening date mentioned, those in the fitness community just hope we find a way to stop the spread, to get back to the things we love. You have to roll with it. You know this is unprecedented times, and you just got to do what you got to do, including masks. Everybody. Young ones. Joy.